Destiny 2 has one of my favorite sandboxes in all of gaming to play around with. The sheer number of combinations that we have access to is what has always kept me playing. But not long after Lightfall, we hit a little bit of a wall when it came to build crafting. I made a video about it and it wasn't looking good. The builds in the game became the same, very limited when it came to variety and there wasn't really much that could change up apart from artifact mods season on season and for me it went stale i distinctly remember my mindset back in that randy style video in december that i wasn't having fun with the options that we had available to us and with the reveal of the final shape i know that my first reaction to those three new supers was kind of flat and ultimately was like is that it and in true bungee fashion when their backs are against the wall they whip out the full package and give us the ultimate subclass with Prismatic. A multi-class fantasy that combines the light of dark that players, including myself, would have thought was never possible. Solar and Stasis, Strand and Arc, Void and Stasis. With the introduction of Prismatic, it gives us a massive boost going into the final chapter of the Light and Darkness saga. So I want to talk about how this changes build crafting across the entire game. But more importantly, I want to talk about some of the possibilities for the future because my mind is a churning. So Prismatic, the new subclass, how does it work? It combines both light and darkness subclasses with a selection of abilities, fragments, aspects and supers from all of our favorite subclasses that we know and love. It unlocks so many possibilities for the game. It will make us rethink how we engage with current content in the game, but also the new content coming with Final Shape and whatever happens after. Having this freedom now gives the Guardian the ability to live out that true power fantasy, combining all the elements of our favorite subclasses to make our own ultimate Guardian is something that a lot of players have wanted and I have wanted for a long period. Forgive me for kind of reiterating that point but this is quite big the caveat is that bungie is going to be limiting our selection of abilities some of which are kind of underused on subclasses currently so they're not going to be things such as highly meta picks like bubble titan or well of radiance or some of the things on a hunter there's a lot of things that have been condensed down and made even better because you're going to be able to combo them with other things the big question is, how does this affect the singular subclasses? And my answer to this is, we don't really know until we have it in our hands. But there is still benefits to playing your own personal favorite subclass. Take, for example, the Solar Warlock. They have access to all three of their subclass specific aspects with a fourth coming in the final shape. I believe it's not going to be limited to Prismatic. It's going to be uh, three new aspects and like a super to each class and they have the ability to icarus dash and the cool aspects that you may want to improve with your grenade which means that there's still a viable option for you to use a fully dedicated subclass prismatic will have access to the brand new one and nothing else in terms of that there's a couple of grenades that are going to be very specific and i think the good part about this is that the game doesn't completely get nerfed by just having prismatic in the game it's going to be very broken and there's going to be a lot of busted combinations actions per minute if you want to say that other subclasses won't be able to do but being able to have that freedom is the most important part and i think that's what a lot of players will love experimenting with don't get me wrong though the usage rate for single subclasses is going to go down real fast at the launch of the final shape obviously but I'm more looking forward to seeing how prismatic build synergies go with single subclasses. If you've got like a Well of Radiance Warlock and then just like a regular Titan that's void. And then you've got two prismatic hunters. And I just like to see that combination go in either PvP, in PvE. It just kind of shakes up the entire game. And as a person who loves making builds, just the idea of prismatic gets my brain working into overtime. There's going to be more bandwidth needed on DIM because of the amount of links that I'm going to have to create for the amount of build ideas that I have. 
obviously they may not all work together but it's still fun to talk about so for the sake of actually having some fun let's talk about the number of possibilities because i love talking about this stuff each class in prismatic has five aspects to choose from and they can equip two at any given time this means we have 10 total aspect combinations so we already have 10 different possibilities of builds that we're going to be able to create including the five different supers with the corresponding aspects we now have 50 different aspect and super combinations you can go solar and arc and then have like a strand uh, super or you could have a uh, void and stasis and have a solar super there's a load of things here that you can dive into and this is just for one class alone take everything and times that by three factoring in fragments grenade and melee options you are now starting to rack up a lot of possible builds my inner build demon is just kind of frothing at the mouth with all of these options. The fact that we have 25 fragments as well to build off of is going to be insane. Now, granted, not all of the combinations may work out well together. But remember, imagine having Devour and Bleak Watcher up at the same time or being able to use three arc melees. Being able to be radiant at the same time is going to cause a whole lot of problems without trying to find the exact number of combos it's a lot finding out what interactions work in the game with each ability is going to be something that players will discover and i can guarantee social media and on youtube these things are going to blow up with the things that can happen how many buffs can we have at one time how many orbs can we have around the warlock how many titan slams can we get out as quick as possible and remember this is all on one class so once you've had all this fun experimenting with your favorite class you can go and have some fun with the hunter or the titan if you're a warlock main or the other way around for all the others and that is what i am generally excited for being able to find out all the different interactions and seeing them just kind of blow up the game and it really seems like bungie wants to give players this last big hurrah for the last 10 years and like a big sign off destiny 3 copium on the way but it really does feel like they've just let the shackles off the players and just seeing how they have fun with the final shape here's another crazy thought to have bungie went and added the ability to get exotic class items that have two perks now granted they are not the most strong version of the perks but two exotic perks is pretty damn crazy with eight in each of the columns that you can get that means 64 total possibilities on just one class so you're gonna need a lot of vault space if you want to get all those combos then add in regular exotic armor exotic weapon combos mod setups artifact mods the list of things and possibilities that you'll have to make builds is going to explode there's going to be so many combos and people are going to be finding new stuff for a while Hopefully, till the day Bungie decides to announce Destiny 3. Once again, I'm huffing military-grade copia. My only worry is that we won't get any additional mods, which is a small gripe, but in hindsight, the smaller selection of mods in the game will really help keep track because they're not that groundbreaking. It would make too many different options and maybe a little bit overwhelming, and I can't imagine what this system would have looked like or what Prismatic would have looked like pre lightfall mod system without the charge with light system with the uh different elemental wells that we used to have now it just seems that the um, charge with light or the armor charge system is very simplistic and then the subclasses are going to be where all the customization is it definitely feels like bungie decided to announce prismatic to kind of build that hype for the final shape and maybe they were hiding it because they've definitely not taken nine months or the extra six months with the delay but I am excited to see how light and darkness subclasses come together and how the story finishes in the final shape. And I'm actually really excited to make build videos on the channel again because the last year or so, it's felt like a cycle of the same builds with the same mods with minor differences between people. And that's just between myself and my friends that make different builds or myself and other creators. They're not too dissimilar and it will be great to have this explosion of creativity of people finding things that are perfect for them and i 
already have a couple of builds cooking up that I'm going to try and talk about on the launch of the final shape. So make sure you stick around on the channel. I'm sure a lot of people will be happy that I'm back making build videos again, and I'll try and snazzy them up a little bit, make them look a little bit better than they used to. But what ideas do you have and combos that you want to try out with Prismatic? What are you most excited about with the final shape? Let me know down in the comment section and make sure to come and check out the Twitch stream when we are live. We're going to be playing a bunch of Destiny over the next like couple of weeks and also some other games there as well. So I'd love to see you there when I am live. As always, this has been It's Jimbo and I'll see you guys next time.